Party party. Bye, Bye, Welcome to Meet the Biz. Today we have the family that is Performing Arts Studio West and Meet the Biz. We are going to have each and every one who is with us today, um, come on one by one. Uh, and uh, we're gonna just find out a little about each person because there's a lot of amazing talent in this room. Um, and um, here we go, let's see. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look and see who we have here today. And you know who I'm thinking of starting with? I'm starting with a woman who, um, Wow, she is, she is, she's a woman who is on TV. She did a movie. Um, well, I might just have her tell you. I mean, she's been, she's exceptional. And I've known her for several years now. The beautiful, the wonderful, Miss Tina Green. Tina Green. Hi, hey. hi everyone. Tina, how, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm uh, you know, I'm drinking my hot tea and I'm drinking my vitamin C. <laughs> I have two mugs today. Don't you love them? I could use them as earrings too, probably, yeah. but, but they make my earlobes big. Um, so I have a question. I mean, you what you have done a lot of work. What was one of your favorite performances that you have done? Well, a few years ago, I was on a show on FX called Feud Betty and Joan. Right. And I played the role of, I played Susan Sarandon's daughter. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> and what, what a cast that is. Susan Sarandon, Tina Green, and who else played in that? Um, Jessica Lange. Okay, who would not want to act with these three women? I mean, and, and what, what was one of your favorite moments about working with these other actors and in this show? Just seeing how they act and getting to know Susan Sarandon. Right. And you keep in touch, don't you? Yes, I do. I love it. Well, I can't wait to see your next movie uh, or TV show or performance. And, of course, to, um, to give you a hug next time I see you, uh, maybe at our Sunday brunch, our annual yeah. Sunday brunch. Yeah. Well, please send love to your mama. I sure will. All right. All righty. I will talk to you soon. And thank you for being here today. You're very welcome. I love it. I love it. This is family. We are family. Oh, my gosh. Well, we, we, we have an, another amazing person here. Everybody here is like thrilling and wonderful and you know what? Let's get Mr. Lucas Solosky. Lucas. Hey. I, hey, I love, I love your look. Thank you. You've changed it a bit. Yeah. The glasses. I love it. The glasses. And where are you right now? I'm at the Ed Asner Family Center. Really, how long have you been with uh, Ed Asner Family Center? Since 2018. Wow. Now, what, what, does, what is your connection to the uh, Ed Asner Center? The field trips and everything. Now, you are a creator. You're, you, you mm -hmm. make music? 
Yes. And films? Um, yes. What was something, what is one thing, I mean, I'm sure you're proud of many, many things, but what is one thing you're very, very proud of? Making music. Do you have a from favorite? My house. Oh, from and, your house. And from everywhere. I love it. I love it. Do you have a favorite piece that you've written? I wrote The Fresh Princess of Friendship at Disneyland, and I did a music video there. I love it. Oh, a music video. I think mm -hmm. I've seen that one. I've got to check that out. You have to check, check it out. Is it on is it on YouTube or online? The Fresh Princess of Friendship? Yeah. The music video is going to be online. Oh, it will be. Okay, so we'll we'll keep an eye out for it. Okay. Um, thank you, my friend. You're welcome. This is Meet the Biz today with the wonderful Performing Arts Studio mm -hmm. West and Meet the Biz family. Um and you know who we have next. This woman's talk about a lot of work too. I mean, she has, she's been working it. She does stage plays. She just played the lead. Well, she's going to tell you about it. This woman she, uh, who I've known, I think for almost 30 years, Shen Dirix. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Oh my God. How are you, my dear? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I come on here and I, it's like plugging, plugging myself into a, a wall socket. Not that I'm going to get electrocuted, but, um, you know, gives me energy because I'm with, with the family. So yeah. now what is that, that you, you just uh, played the lead in what show? Amy and the Orphans. And you played the role of Amy. Uh, I, I mean that that's an intense, wonderful show. I mean, what was your what was your favorite part about playing the lead in that show? Well, I know Jamie did it, and so I did. So I want to try something new. Okay, okay, yeah. Jamie Brewer did it on Broadway, and then you did one of the first, I guess, tra uh, traveling companies. Yep. Or or outside of New York, that is, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite moment? Oh, okay, this is tough because <laughs> yeah. this is at this moment because mm -hmm. the next moment you might go, oh, but what about this one? Is there a moment at this moment that sticks in your mind that you say, wow, I love that moment? Well, when I, when I, um, when I, I was on the top of Minion, Thing. This is my favorite scene. Which one? Say that again. Dominion. Dominion. Yeah, Dominion scene. It's my favorite. Oh, was that a was that a, a film, TV, or stage? I think it's stage. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, you're a wonderful actress, as we know, and uh, I love working with you. And I'm glad you're here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, a lot of. A lot of wonderful stuff going on today. A lot of wonderful stuff. And, and another person, uh, you know, we're just going down the line here. We're going to get everybody in. Now we're here until everybody gets to say hello and share themselves. And, you know, everybody gets a question or a moment. And, you know, this is a man who's been, was on a TV show for five years, five years. Um, and you know, I, I love his last name because his last name is Zimmerman, and this is Luke Zimmerman. Hey, there's him. Hey, Luke Zimmerman. How's your mom doing? She's okay. She uh, she had a a good night last night, and good, good. And we're having a good day today. Great. How's your mom doing? She is hanging there. Yes. Yeah. Hanging in there. We, I'm, I, you know, you, I, I thought of somebody, hey, Lucas, you need to write a song called Hanging In There. Okay? I'll do that. Okay, good. Um, so, Mr. Um, Mr. Zimmerman, uh, to, yes. tell, to tell us all, to, to, for those who haven't been on a TV show that lasted for five years, how, how is it, or five years, five seasons, how, what, what piece of advice would you give uh, a, an actor who, who's going to be doing a show for five years or more? Well, doing 
Five seasons on the network. ABC Family is dream come true. Really working amazing, amazing crew. And oh my God, brilliant cast ever. So I, the first thing I went on the set of Secret Life. Yeah. I say to myself, oh my God, my wig wall. And everyone I knew that time. Yeah. And I get to know how they are there and become my friends. They're very nice people. Right. And me and help me get into my character. And everyone are very nice to me. I love it. I love it. Now, and Anson Williams, who we had on the show, he d- directed you in a couple of episodes or? Yeah, he did. He directed one episode I danced with. Fancy out, and that's the one he did. And I did I did one with the guy from now to right now, Jason Priestley. Jason Priestley. Yeah. That must have been fun. But you know, let me tell you, the people out there want to be an actor, advise season, mm-hmm. do your best hard work. Do what you have to do. Get your mind to it. And focus, and you want to be an actor, do it. Because you want to be an actor, go with a guy named David Sirman, and he'll make you awesome. Well, you have those wings, my friend, and you just, you you fly, don't you? Fly like an eagle. To the sky. <laughs> <laughs> That's the team I'm going for in the Super Bowl. Huh? What? My fault for what? I'm going for the Eagles. Oh, okay. As long as they're not above us at the time, they have to, uh, you know. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, my God. Ew. All right. Thank you, Mr. Zimmerman. I love it. I love it. We are family. And we've got another family member here today. Of course, we're all family members here today. We've got this stunning, stunning model, actress, in fact, I saw her the other night on the red carpet and we took pictures together. Oh, I've got to find out to see more of those pictures. We got one of them. But um, anyway, I, without further ado, this woman is, she she's stunning in so many ways. Natalie Oden. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good, you? I'm okay. I'm okay. It was fun to be in LA for birthday week. <laughs> Um, yes. So what about you, Miss, Miss Odin? Do you like, do you, per, I mean, I know you do a lot of modeling, uh, you do, uh, acting, you do, you do so much. Do you have a favorite? No, I mean, like, it's like picking out which, ch- which child is your favorite. So when you have to love all children, right? I think of, like a passion for acting and modeling is, I don't have a favorite. I love both. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's so true. It is hard. It's like, you know, like you said, um, children. It's like, eh, it made me think of, um, oh, oh God, I heard my 59 year old brain. Um, Meryl Streep in that movie where she had to choose, <laughs> the choose which children to give up, but. Um, oh, uh, what was it called? Um, it's one of the best movies, period. Oh, yeah, Sophie's Choice. Sophie's Choice. Oh. Self-distress. Yes, thank you, Jessica. Um, she wrote it in the... the uh... Self-distress. Right, right. Um, in the, uh... So the question I have for you about modeling, because you do a lot of that, you've been print ads, you've done different... What would you tell people who want to become a model? What is the... What is... What is the suggestion you would give to them? Well, in my personal experience, I would just like look for stuff online, you know, like maybe look for like other photographers, maybe modeling groups. Uh, at least that's how it started out for me. Yeah. And and then and then it just started rolling, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that at least for me. Okay. Oh, I love it. Well, I look forward to seeing you uh, on another cover of a magazine soon. I can't wait. Me too. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay, 
let's go let's go back to music or forward to music with a woman who creates and writes her own music and songs uh, she's also a stunning actress and can be seen in a clip from this last year's media access awards uh, we all know her and love her Teresa Tenario hi David hi Teresa how are you uh say that again how are you i'm good how are you doing i'm okay i'm okay i uh i'm okay i'm okay now that i'm talking to you and <laughs> my question is i've heard some of your music with joe cb and on your own what is it what is it about creating music how do you come up with ideas for a song um you know what I base my music on, on how I feel for that day. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's how I come up with um, my music. Do you, do you have like, do you ever have um, like roadblocks? Like you wanna create something and it's like, oh, I can't get it. And the question about that is, how do you get through those blocks? Um, when I feel like, oh gosh, I can't get something out, I would just, you know, leave it alone for, let's say, 30 minutes and come back to it. <laughs> and by that time I come back to it, it's already there. So, um, okay. I love like, that. That, and it, in 30 <laughs> minutes is not long. Maybe you just need to stand up, take a little walk. Right. You need a little break. <laughs> right. But um, yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't really, oh my gosh, David, I have a lot of things that just, you know, I really have to write this down. And then next thing you know, it turns into a song, so. Right, right. But um, yeah, and what's crazy is it doesn't take, I would write, say, three songs in a day. Really? Yeah, I have a lot of things that I can, you know, I, I, there's nowhere to put them. So <laughs> you might as well just put it on a paper. <laughs> wow. So, well, you, you know, yeah. that gives me inspiration because I sometimes get stuck on certain projects um, and certain ideas, other things I just flow with. But um, that has really opened up my mind about, wow nothing's impossible like barbara streisand wrote in yentl right yeah well it's it and it's a blessing that you do create and get it out there because it's a healing force you know art what we all do here uh this this creation of of art acting music dance um is something that heals us all and it it ultimately hopefully will save the planet <laughs> And and also knowing that you can touch people by your music, it doesn't matter where you are. Right. You know, you can be on the other side of the world and, you know, you can still touch people. And I love the feel of that, you know, just putting one music out there or two or three. You, you know, when people hear your words that, you you know where I'm going with that. <laughs> I do, and I'm I'm loving it. I'm taking the ride with you. Um, yeah. And thank you for that. Thank you. Thank well, you. Well, uh, yeah, I thank you for being here today. Appreciate it. Oh my goodness! You know, I want to to get to another uh, uh, actress in our lovely family that is performing arts studio West and Meet the Biz. Um, in fact, she knows Mr. Zimmerman very well because she was on the same show that uh, he was. And uh, <laughs> she's covering her face right now. Uh, she's a wonderful actress, a, a amazing woman, just a sweetheart. Michelle Marks, Michelle Marks. Oh, unmute, unmute, unmute. I'm trying to unmute. Yes. Yes, they were trying to put me in the spot. Put you on the spot. Okay. Yes. 
Out of bounds, Mark. Out. <laughs> no. How could it be out? Could be in the spot. Because <laughs> in the spotlight. spotlight. Out. Well, yeah, something <laughs> like that. But um, I just want to say, David, thank you for um for uh, doing the um uh, interview. What the uh, what you call it? The on Tuesday or Monday? What? Oh, you had a great audition. Yes. Uh, yes. Now I want to thank to thank you for that. No. My pleasure. For yes. Mm-hmm. And wonderful to um to be on set with Luke Zimmerman as your uh not your not your brother, but some somebody as as the Zimmerman, I'm sorry. The Zimmerman um, plan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you guys could be like the Zimmerman brothers. I don't know. I'm just making I'm just I making just, stuff up. How how was it by <laughs> the way working with Mr. Zimmerman? It was pretty, it was pretty cool. Yeah. It was nice. And um, it was nice. And I enjoyed it myself. It was so long ago, probably like in 2000, wait, it was 1998 uh, or something like that. I don't know for sure. I'm just right. guessing. Is like, was there, was there a, uh, um... What was it about that experience that was magical for you? I would say it was a really nice experience to work with Luke. I was surprised myself to work with Luke because um, it was an opportunity to um, finally meet him on on set, which I didn't even know I was going to be his girlfriend on the right. on the set, and um, and it was. It was actually surprising. It was actually surprising to me. Yeah. And um, I just can't think of anything that's there. For, well, for the sure. chemistry. Just, like, the chemistry. Well, I mean, you guys had such wonderful chemistry. Yes, we do. And it's and it's really really exciting to work with him as more as possible, but not. Um, I don't know in the future, but um, if it wasn't in the future, I'll be happy to uh, happy to to work with him again. And I'm sure so. that he, he feels the same about you, right, Mr. Yes. Zimmerman? Yeah. Yes. I mean, again, <laughs> just you can see it in the the chemistry in your acting. So I look yeah. forward to more. I look forward to seeing you on more shows, more commercials, more everything. Yes. And anything comes my way. <laughs> I love it. Yes. And please say hi to your uh, dad and family. Yes. You like my background? I do. I love it. makes me want to go in your closet and see what else is there. <laughs> oh, my God. I have a background closet. You do? <laughs> is that your closet I there? Do. Oh, I, I was um, I was actually having the wallpaper but I guess missed it but yeah it's uh actually my, uh, my room so oh, I'm sorry cool. this just a waste because I I thought I had a uh, like a background so you guys won't see it but I guess it didn't connect so sorry about I that. love it no no I love it and I love the lamps there the, or the yes. shades I think that's it all right my dear <laughs> and, you, and you can't come in my closet so I'm sorry oh, <laughs> I won't I've I've got my own closet and I uh I left that. You're sick. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. You're so funny. <laughs> and thank you for working with me again. My pleasure. It's, a, it's been a again. pleasure and honest. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, I see this beautiful face staring at me. Christy Chu. Hello, how are you? Oh. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Oh, good. So, my dear, what's uh, what about you? What about you and creation? What do you love to create? What do you love to do? Art. What kind of art? What is your favorite kind of art? Um. Different kinds of art. Yeah. 
Yeah. Would you consider acting or creating with your hands or? Because I know you're a wonderful actress. I mean, oh, you. when you're on, you are on. Well, I, I do. I love acting. Yeah. Diana, you too, David, and Steve. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. Does John do acting too? Oh, John does that. Well, yes, he does. And I think with John, he focuses so much on keeping this whole family together. He talk about a man who works his tuchas off. Um, and and for those who don't know, the Yiddish, <laughs> I guess it's a Yiddish word, tuchas is for butt. So um, <laughs> it's like working your butt <laughs> off. The man who works <laughs> his tuchas off. So, uh, and you, you are, you're wonderful. And I, 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 miss, I love seeing you online and I miss you in person. Well, you know, my birthday's coming up on the 17th on a Friday at 2.36 in the afternoon. Oh my God. 2.36? Do you know, um, I was born at 9.36 in the Really? Morning. Yes. Yeah, early. Yes. Now, are you an Aquarius or what? Yes. Me too. Seriously? Yes, that's why we connect so much. How do you know that? How do I know what? Wait, when's your birthday, David? January 23rd. Well, that you're a month behind. Yeah, but we're still in Aquarius, right? Wow, how did that come? I don't know, ma magic. <laughs> <laughs> so how about you know, David? A hundred and... <laughs> David! Two hundred and... I'm I'm oh. 59 this year. You're 59. You don't look it. Thank you. What do I? How do I look? I don't know. I'm <laughs> happy I'll a, be 51 in February 17th on a Friday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday yeah. to Christy Chu. Oh, and by the yeah, way, yeah. I think Shannon's having her birthday yeah. tomorrow. So wow, happy birthday, Shannon! Me. This is like an Aquarius. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Thank you, Christy Chu. You're welcome, David Zinneman. Mwah. All right, we have got, we've got a bunch of wonderful people here. This is very exciting for me and I'm having a blast. Um, I want a, Bill, Bill, I love you so. I always- How are you doing, David? Hi, I love that song. Hi. Too. How are you, Bill? I'm doing marvelous. Yes, you are. And, and talk about marvelous. My goodness, I've seen you in some films and TV shows, right? No, no TV shows, but movies. Movies. I'm, yeah. What, what was One your favorite? Was, mine was Bulletproof Jackson playing the chicken sheriff. Yes. I, Marvelous I, movie. Yes. What, what was it about that movie that just, for you? What made me happy when I hand my guns over to Jeremy Vest, my friend. My best friend from Zeno. Yeah. Me and him are good buddies. Right. And he's an amazing drummer. Yeah. 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 It was, I really loved that film. I could still remember. I went to the premiere of that and I think you were there, weren't you? Yeah. 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 And, was, and I think that was even before I, that was the first time I met you actually, even before Performing Arts Studio West, I believe. Yeah, that's the first time I met you too, David. Yeah. It was like wowzer. Yeah. And, yeah, the place we we did it was um I think Pra Prairie Town. Where's Prairie Town? I I I'm that's outside of LA. And oh. so and they had like a real old hotel tail with horses. Did you now? Where did you sleep? Was there a? Did you sleep? Yeah, it was. A, it was a. Uh, I shared a room with my my friend. Right. My friend Gabe. Oh, how fun! We had, and my and the and my other friend, the late Liz, Elizabeth Curry. How long did the the shoot take? Do you remember? Uh, not. Uh, I don't actually. I don't know. But it took a long time. We had a, uh, we filmed some of it here. I think over by um, 
the, the bar over over at, at the brig on Abbott Kenny. Right, right, right. Wow. Right over there. Well, I look forward to your next film, my friend. Yeah, I want I would love if you be in my next film. Really? Are you thinking yeah. of like doing a film for the uh, uh, Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I know it's it's a challenge, but boy, and, yeah. and just to just to plug that for a second, it's really it's coming up, and we're gonna have the uh, the uh, get together, the annual yeah, meetup. I'm a, I'm also a big fan of the I'm a big Dodger fan because I love the Dodgers. They're my favorite team, Dodgers and the Kings. Right. And the Lakers. Did you ever want to play? I used to play for Special Olympics. Oh, okay. But now you're pretty much the watcher. Yeah, the watcher now. Okay. I love it. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome, David. I love it. I love it. I am just like surrounded by amazing talent today. And we have another amazing talent here, uh, the wonderful uh, Linda Litzko. Linda Litzko. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you, my dear? Good. Good. Now, I, you were, you were in a, was it a TV show or a movie? A movie. What, oh. what, what was it called? Oh. Uh, Okay, I'm sure I got help for the body. Right. Um, yeah. And you played, what was, what was your character? I remember. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. I love it. I've got to like, I've got, I remember seeing that, that picture of you uh, in your outfit and it was like brilliant. You were brilliant. And beyond that, even working with you at Performing Arts Studio West, your improv skills, your magic that you have um, with movement and voice and song um, and acting is is wonderful. You you are so individual. Oh, I, I am a bad wish, right? The what, what? A bad witch. A bad witch? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And you know what? When I was growing up, I was obsessed with witches. <laughs> <laughs> I loved I loved the Wicked Witch of the West. I I and I, I, I don't know if I've told this story, but when I was young, I was watching The Wizard of Oz mm -hmm. and the Wicked of the Witch, I, I think I don't know, I was under 10, somewhere under I don't know, young, and um, it was a fetus. And my um, my mom, I started crying. My mom said, "Turn that off. It's scaring you." I said, "No, it's not. She's dying." I had such, a, <laughs> I had <laughs> such a connection, probably because I was one in my past life. Mm -hmm. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I was a good witch, but they thought I was a bad witch. Anyway, isn't that the case? Thank you, Linda. Yeah. I like, I like a swing. Like. Oh, do you do you ever sell your your uh, creations? Me, yeah, no. Not yet. No. But you might. Uh, but, 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 I don't know. Okay. I can, I can, I can my house. Okay. Got it. Well, I tell you, if you ever do sew something, I would love to purchase something. In fact, my grandmother, before she passed, sewed me a, a little yarmulke. And so if you ever, uh, you know, if you ever uh, happen to have a free moment, make a yarmulke, just let me know what it is, and I'll them know you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank it, you. It, it, I wish I could help people. Oh, yes. You are, and you do help people so much. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Oh, you will? Yeah. Yeah. Well, continue. Continue to do it. 
and and it's a blessing that that's in your heart to do um mm -hmm. and thank you for that you do you i know you help me yeah i do mm -hmm. even with your smile it's sometimes you 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 can help a person by just that smile you know what i mean okay mm -hmm. now i'm getting verklempt <laughs> <laughs> thank you linda bye 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 oh my gosh i love this you know what uh, we're going to go to the next person in line, which is the wonderful, I think, Isaac Leva, right? Isaac, you're here. Where are you? I've got to find you. Ooh, there he is. There he is. I'm going to add you and unmute you. And Mr. Leva. Mm. Okay. Can I tell you, this man is in one of my I mean, this movie was incredible, and you are one of my favorite performances. What was that brilliant movie that you did? The name of it? Any day now. You know, and it is any day now. Today is the day because you are here today. Well, I mean, I I I brought through. I bought three DVD copies of your movies. One from like Australia. One from one from. Uh, you know, LA, uh, one from China, and this gorgeous human being, <laughs> this gorgeous man, uh, signed it for me, um, and I have it, and I'm. It's it's a treasure for me. What about it? Why do you Why do you love acting? I mean, you're really brilliant at it. I love acting because my dream is to be on TV show. Well. You'd be perfect on that. I mean, you've done several films and 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 you've done work. And you just I mean, you and when you went with the film overseas, I mean, you were like uh, doing interviews right and left, right? Yep. Yeah, that's a movie. If if I, I know I've seen it and a lot of you have seen it, but if you haven't seen it and who else is in the movie with you? Any day, any day now? Yeah. And a coming, give it to her, Francis Future. Oh, uh, yes, Francis. I, I love her. And, and oh my God, all those actors are incredible. And I know they were blessed to have you as part of that family. Mm -hmm. uh, and then what, what's the other movie you did? Uh, Wakefield. Wakefield, starring who? Brian Cranston, Jennifer Garner, and a guy from Hawaii Five O. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Well, I can't wait to see your next film. And one of these days, I, you know, I, 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 I love doing voiceovers now. But I, once in a while, I'll jump into a film. So one of these days, I'd love to do a movie with you. All right. Thank you for everything. And I've been re rehearsing my scripts. You, have you? Yeah. Okay. I practice. Well, oh, good. Good. So while I look forward to hearing them. Okay. And you're wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. This is um, this family here, you know, you all keep me going. You all bring joy into my life. So thank you. Um, talking about joy, um, I have a, a, a new friend uh, who I've met, uh, a, a, an exceptional actress. Um, we met the other day actually on a, um, connection on zoom and she uh, has uh she won best actress this last year um and we're gonna bring her on jessica truman jessica truman hello david hello jessica how are you good tired sleepy <laughs> what, now what time is it there it's quarter to seven in the morning now tell everybody where you're at Oh, Sydney, Australia. You didn't mention that, hey. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? See, this is this is what we have at Meet the Biz and Performing Arts Studio West. We have the whole world join in. Yes. So <laughs> tell us about this uh, award-winning um, film that you did and piece. Um, just like the plot of the story or? Um, well, uh, well, you could say, I mean, you won it for what festival? Oh, yep. Yeah. So the festival was called Focus on Ability, a short film festival. Yes, which we, uh, Performing Arts and Meet the Biz, um, 
you know, give prizes to. And also we, uh, we, we had been acknowledged by them, but we love working with them. They're, I think, one of the best festivals around. Mm, yeah, they're really, really cool, really generous. Um, yeah, so I won Best Actor for that. And I, I basically like made the film myself. So I was in it. I wrote it. I directed it, produced it. It's only four minutes, so it wasn't that hard. Um, but yeah, I kind of did it all. Well, here's the thing. Was this your first thing, first film that you produced and directed? Oh, no, I, I went to college mm -hmm. um, and I'd done some there. So it was the first one after I'd finished right. university, but um, I had done it before. Yeah, 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 yeah. What suggestion would you give, especially since we have the Disability Film Challenge coming up, the Easter Seals, um, what suggestion would you give if somebody wants to make their own film? Okay. And, uh, you know, you like you said, you produced, you directed, you starred in it. What is your suggestion to that person who's never done it? Who's never done that before? Mm -hmm. um, my suggestion would be to, first of all, take a breath because it's a lot. Um, and my second suggestion would be um, just, you know, focus on what the core of the story is and that's going to help you make your decisions, which will make it a bit easier in how you make a film or how you play a performance or write a story. There's always a moral to a story. There's always a point. Yeah. So as long as you're clear on what, you want to say with what you're making or what you're doing um it's gonna take the pressure off a bit right because you know that and that's what you're focused on so it will be easier to bring that idea to life even if that's in five days or five years uh, forbid. right yeah but we just i love how you said whether it's five days or five years or 20 years or whatever you know i know yeah. some films take lo a long take time decades, yeah but we just got to keep moving and knowing that it's gonna happen yeah trust yourself thank you for that thank You're you welcome. i will i will take that and remember oh yeah trust <laughs> trust good to see you good to see you too yeah i'll see you soon see you soon oh okay look at this i mean boy do we have people here today and, uh -huh. oh oh wait i hear a voice it's me it's you wait uh -huh. let me find you now by the way everybody on this on this is gonna get it is gonna get talked to and uh, talked to interviewed but right now i heard that voice that lovely christina Thomas. <laughs> Go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, David. Yes, Christina. Uh, um, I need, I need, I'll put a put a chat. I'm going, I'm going mid, mid the best. Me. You. Yes. What now? If you well, if you right now we're here in this moment. What is one thing you want to tell your performing arts studio West Meet the Biz family about doing what you want in life? Um, I love I love some art. We really, I like it, and I love. I love P and W Wits and everybody great job as a show. Now I have a question on that. You said you love PASW, you love Meet the Biz, you love performing. L what is one thing that you love about you that you believe helps you get to where you want to go? One thing uh, that you love about you. Um, I'm thinking about my my brothers. So going to the the my 
my a brother was chig 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 going to the the concert right for Lady Gaga. Woo! When, <laughs> did you go with him? Oh yes, for my my brother, for my son. Well, you know what sounds amazing, and it rolls back again. What you love about is your love of family, and that is what you like about yourself as well, which is what I'm getting. Whether it's the Performing Arts Studio West family, whether it's uh, Lady Gaga, <laughs> or whether it's your brother, so. Uh, I want to tell you, you're an exceptional actress, and I can't wait to see you in pop. You know what I mean? Yes. So, thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we will talk soon, okay? Because I want to be sure to get to everybody. I love you. Oh, hello. Mwah. Oh, I love, let's see. Ooh, ooh, I, I almost accidentally put you in the waiting room. We don't want to do that. We just uh, want to do that. Wait. Wait, I'm hearing a voice. What voice is that? That's me. It is you. Is that Mr. Jones? Yeah. Mr. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. Mm. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hey, my friend. How you doing? I'm okay. How's your mama? She, uh, she's fine. Yeah, yeah. Talk about an actor. You were the in the advanced acting class this last year, and you just like. Oh my God, you just like, blah, 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 blah. you popped, you popped. <laughs> and uh, you were also in a movie this last year, right? Yeah, uh, like for, um, for last year, uh, 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 and I got paid the movie set. You got paid? And didn't you, you, you had, you improvised a line and they loved it so much that they kept it in the movie? Yeah. Yeah. That's how you just do it. You're just in that moment. And if you're connected, right, to what's yeah. going on. Yeah, I help Isaac in the movie. Yes. Well, well uh, yes, that's Julian. Julian will have to talk about that, too. Yeah, so, I have, the, I have the, the Isaac in the movie. Yes, we'll, we'll get to you. We'll get to you. No, so Isaac, uh, yeah. okay. that's great. You, you get to work with people like Julian, like other people from performing arts. What, 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 what was your favorite thing about being in that film, Isaac? Um, be like, like, it could be like, like, or, or for like, um, back in the day before, uh, for, for the set, for yeah. movie, be like, be like, like, sound effects, uh, right, sound effects, and, uh, like, dialogue, people, it would be a dollar for uh, like, like, like scripts. Right, the scripts. Uh, and then, you, it sounds like it's everything. I mean, the sound, to the putting it together. You love putting it together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I love uh, having you here today, my friend. Yeah, and uh, David, uh, yeah. And, and, and I got a dog. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I would be passed away. Oh, he passed away? Yeah. I'm sorry. When was this? No, for uh, like, uh, uh, like last night, the other night. So we get hit by a car. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. No. My condolences no. to you and your family. Yeah. yeah, the, um, yeah. You know, life is very strange at times. You know, all of a sudden we lose somebody and or somebody or a dog that's close to us or an animal or whatever, yeah. whatever it is. But it's we have to push through it and we have to know that, you know, at least I, I still feel them around. So anyway, my so, love and condolences and, to you. Oh, and um, David, and, uh, oh, and I got one question for you. And uh, I got two like, things for you. I, um, oh, oh, yeah. One question for me is okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, with the, um, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, I will be working on my goal. Yeah, working on your goal. Yeah, two goals. I'll be, I will be like, and then was like, I did my goal, that's the job, and then I went to, I went, um, I, I, I then I went to my, 
I'm be like turning out screws. The what's the second one? Uh Curtain Night Schools. Oh, night school. Yeah, it's like 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 people like 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 I'll have to have you make one of your specialties, yes? And I, and I, and I, and I, and I got flyers for you for our barbecue business. Okay. Well, give me the flyer next time I see you, okay? I'll probably be in L.A. at uh, sometime the end of the month. All right? Okay. And, and, and I wish you your number. I'm going to call you. All right. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Okay, my friend. Yes. Okay. I love this. I love this. Okay. I want to. I saw Mr. BJ's hand. BJ. Where is BJ? Oh, BJ, you didn't leave. Yeah. Oh, you're there. You're there. <laughs> I was thinking you left. I didn't want you to. Leave. I don't want anybody to leave who hasn't said hello yet. I saw BJ. Now I've got to find BJ. Where? where, where let's see. There, there, there. BJ, BJ. Oh, there you are. Ta da! The oh, magic Benjamin. man. He acts, he sings, he dances. What is it? What is it about dancing? What is it about you and your movement? Where did that come from? Um, uh, it, it, uh, you mean um, the uh, the other martial arts, the first one that I did, like um, the capoeira? Yeah, I mean, well, that's that's one of it. I mean, the thing is, you incorporate capoeira. Capoeira. How do you say it? Capoeira. You incorporate that. In your dancing, you incorporate dancing in your capoeira. How? When was that born? When did you know that it was like, oh, I love this. I love doing this. It started like back when I was like eighteen or seventeen, uh, when I lived with my when I moved in with my grandparents and stuff. Because um, before I started um, 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 the going to PSAW, um, we were my grandfather. I uh, was searching uh, martial arts for me. Right. And we he found out he found this um, first um, the on YouTube of uh, this uh, is Brazil and but it's also part of slavery because it started at, at how the how the white men um, see the black people dancing like how I was, right. but it was. It's part martial arts and part dancing, and to uh, it helps your flexibility, your movement, and everything like to stretch your muscles and everything. And talking like, about all tricks and stuff. Talking about muscles, I mean, I remember when I first met you. You didn't. You had. You, I mean, you always looked good, but over the last several years, you have worked out. You worked your. You have muscles. You dance. You keep active. What would you tell somebody who who wants to do that and take care of themselves? Just do it. Like there's no skills about it. Like even though like when you want to work out and if you have um because I know people that have um um problems of of going to gyms like are nervous to go to like it takes time um to go there like if you're not ready for that like you can always work out in the house or and you and buy and use weights too or you can work out without them and until you're ready to go to the gym there's always people that are motivated to um to do what they are there for like to be healthy first it was about being healthy and then once you get the uh, get addicted to it like like it's like addicted to drugs and like mm. you just can't stop doing it. And it's like when you start doing working out, mm. you just continue on doing it more than just health. You just do it for building up your physique, your muscle and your mindset too. And, and also um, your transformation too. Like if you were tired of, of being like, a big guy or like a big or skinny like it takes time but like you just gotta eat right and change your diet too it's a lot of change to do but it's also 
a lot a lot of sacrifice to do it too and you can like just gotta take it seriously too and and not take it for granted too because that's yeah. the thing that i did too and and i didn't and i just continue on flexing on on my path of what i like to do and right. even if it's you can do more than just one thing you can also add like you want to make videos or or do martial arts and stuff like that you can do that and act and sing and all that stuff you can always use that motivation experience new things that you that you never tried before it helps and also like to make friends too at the gym too like i have people know people there that i talk to there and like even joe like uh, he was at the uh, plant fitness when i saw him and uh, yeah just that um it just you just gotta keep on going keep on going, keep on going. And it's true i and and it's like i have to I have to take a walk every day. I have to ride the bike. And I did splurge one of my addictions is sugar, but it was my birthday. So I had, you know, I, I had my, my birthday cake did. today and I'm not going to have any more the rest I can share. <laughs> right. Same thing. Cause I, I used to be addicted to uh, sugar, like a lot. And then I just stopped that because before if I kept on eating more sweet and stuff, like I had to use one of those injected things because uh, my grandmother told me oh. that my uh, uh, my other grandfather, um, I never met him, but she told me that he used to use that stuff and right. all the so time. It's... And I didn't want to do that. And and then the first thing I did was just lift a dumbbell. <laughs> the first thing I did is just lift a dumbbell from the house. And then grandfather, he showed me how to use this and that and taught me, it told me not to use drugs to build muscle too. Like just use the right products to use like create protein right. or creatine too. Like whey products, like like stuff like that. I never use steroids too. And because the first time he told me that, I never knew what steroid was. And I just look it up and I see how it's different because you get bulk, but then it shrunks down your system. Yeah. And you just lose fat. And it's like a like a paper. Like well, you know, it's I you're talking like this. We could do a whole show on on you and fitness and health because I could see we run Johnny said. Uh, uh, in in the little the writing here, it's, she says BJ Fitness for Health. I could see your own business. She says, and um, so I can I, I can see that. And what's helping me is is seeing that if you focus on the positive, you can get rid of that sugar. You can you could by exercising and all that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is really uh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Francisco says, and I'll follow him. Yeah, you know, and always. Gonna, and always believe that it doesn't matter if you have a disability or not, because I see people that that had disability, they go there too. Like, and I was, and I'm impressed with like, it doesn't matter if you're on a wheelchair or you have a one arm or broken arm, you can still do it. I'm it's, gonna. Uh, I have a. Going. Oh my God, <laughs> mine's right here. <laughs> my goodness. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to seeing your exercise show and health show, and you could do your own talk show about health. I Thanks. love it. Thank you, BJ. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, Francisco's now showing off his. Let's see. Uh, here's Francisco. <laughs> Muscle. Oh my God, all you guys have worked out. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wish I had that. Oh my God. Okay, we we have so many people here. We're gonna get to you. We have Alan Davis. We coming up. We have Vernon. We have Danny McNett. Um, Ranjani. We have Jay Lewis. We have uh, uh, Ian, uh, uh, Igor and Logan, you know, the list goes on. But if you haven't gone yet, T-Bone, you're coming up. Uh, we're going to get you. We still have till one o'clock today. So right now, we're with the man himself, Francisco Ajeda. Hey. Look at that face. Look at that face. Just look. <laughs> Keep on going. And my teeth is so shiny. I can see it. They do. I'm going to dentist tomorrow. My God, there's like a light emanating from your mouth. <laughs> it's crazy. He says I look like Elvis with the shiny white teeth. You look like 
Francisco with the shiny white teeth, but I could see you as Elvis. Yes, I could see that. I, I wish I could that. be in a toothpaste commercial. I think that's very possible, actually. I uh, Take that, Carmel, Carmel, take that note down. Toothpaste commercial, Francisco. Very possible, as Alan Davis says. Listen, um, yes, and that is possible. And uh, uh, for those who, of course, everybody knows Carmel, and Carmel, it's her birthday today, and she will get people out from Performing Arts Studio West as our wonderful agent. Um, oh, so what, what is one thing, let's say, Carmel, if you had one dream to be sent out on a job, what would that job look like? To me? Yeah. Oh. Um... Your dream job. Oh. I would say number one, voiceover for the animations. And you're so good at that. Even though sometimes once in a while, I would love to share my ideas to, uh, to any aspiring uh, artists and animators to show I have some of the characters in my imagination. I would love to bring them come to life. Like they, nev they never before seen a characters when I was nine years old. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely, I mean, from what I've heard and seen in your acting, your uh, acting wise, you've gotten even more deep and so connected that it's going to come into your, um, your voiceover work and character work. I, I forgot, have, uh, have you connected with Danny Bowman yet? Um, no, I haven't. Okay, I think she might be here sometime this month, and um, we would. Uh, I I would love to see wh what could be done there because she has a whole animation company. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. So I I I think you guys could really work together well. I mean, you guys mm -hmm. can offer each other a lot. Uh, is there like an email or something I could have a connections with them? Uh, yes, you know, I know the website. Let me see. Danny, I'm going to type in her name, Danny Bowman. And this is for everybody who loves animation. I'm going to give you this. Um, uh, and she has classes and contact. Okay, I see this. I see Danny Bowman, D A N I B O W M A N dot com. Um, and then there's, let's see, is there, da -da 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 -da? yeah, there's that. But let's see if she has anything else too. Danny. Bowman, because she might have another anima animation. Let's see, animation, animation. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, check out dannybowman.com and then just type, type in her name and you'll see. Oh, Danny Mation Entertainment. I think that is that the other one? Yes, Danny Mation, D A N I M A T I O N entertainment.com. So that's another one of her websites. Some people are more, but uh, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to see you guys working together. All right. Thank you, my friend. I hope to see you in person soon. I hope so. Me too. Me too. Um, okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, we have. Oh, T Bone. T Bone, are you there? T Bone. Bone. Sure. <laughs> She gone. I see you there. Are you? Can you hear me, T Bone? Oh my goodness! I don't think the uh, the the voice is on because I've unmuted you. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna try to come back to you. Okay, T Bone. If not, we're gonna like I mentioned before. We got to do a, 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 a something with you. Um. All right. Let's see. All right, T Bone. We're gonna try to come back. Um, we've got a guest today who, who was on a TV show and he, he, he's, he's taught, he has acted. Um, I, I've, I've known him for years. He's come to many Meet the Bizzes and he's joining us today, Mr. J. Lewis Mills. J. Lewis Mills, how are you, my friend? How are you, sir? Uh, good, good. Uh, now, you know, there's that show that you did. What was that show that you did on TV? Which one? <laughs> See, that's the way. That's the way to answer. It's like which one? I've got that one. I got that. One. What is one of your favorite shows that you've ever done? 
and why? Probably my favorite show that I have done was The Family Business because I really got a chance to, you know, explore the creepy and I really got a chance to really get in there and play with um, some really, really good, um, <clears throat> excuse me, actors that have been doing this longer than I have. Um, I would have to say is my most favorite, but my most endearing would have to be Heartbeat because that was the start of it all for me. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that title is so powerful just to, you know, in the way that I connected, when we all connect with our hearts or some of yeah. us do in the, in the world. Um, but I, I'm, I think most of us do. What is it, what was it about Heartbeat that made your heart beat? Uh, the fact that we were basically telling a story about um, an underdog that basically won. Dr. Magliotto was a uh, was the first female thoracic heart surgeon to go through the Loyola uh, med go through Loyola Medical School uh, for surgery. Um, she she had a lot of obstacles. She had a lot of doors, in a sense, slammed in her face. But she persevered. She made it through. And she is now a world-renowned doctor or surgeon that goes around the world and teaches and works still in our industry producing television shows. So... I would absolutely say it was just the core of what Heartbeat was about. Wow. Gorgeous. Um, I, I look forward to seeing you in more. And, absolutely. Uh, Thank you. Yes. Um, amazing actor there. Amazing. Thank you, Jay Lewis, for coming today. Thank you. I look forward to being here more often. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, who is next? Okay, I'm gonna oh Logan Chen. Logan Chen, I'm gonna I'm gonna come to you, Logan Chen. How are you, Logan? Good, how are you? I'm good. Oh my god, that smile. That smile. But actually, my heart is not breaking when I see you. It it's it's full, full of joy and laughter. So <clears throat> if I may ask you a question um what what is it that you love about performing art studio west oh wow that's hard to say, yeah. to say? there's a lot huh no. yeah yeah what's one thing what what's one thing you love about performing and creating <laughs> books yeah Creating the creating uh, bo books and books. Wow. Yeah. Do you write? You're a writer as well? Uh, yeah. I love it. A board. Oh. I love that. I love that. So uh, have you, now uh, we've got to like connect in person. I'm still, you know, on Zoom and I know the performing arts is now opening up there, you know, every, every month, it seems like a little bit more, a little bit more. So one of these days we have to like meet in person, shall we? Okay. Yeah. But I did dirt. Yes. Dirt. Nice. I love it. Well, I love having you on on Meet the Biz, and I look forward to seeing more of your wonderful creations because you you're really magic, and you're such a good actor. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Oh, I love that. One, two, three. Heart sign. <laughs> um. Love it. All right. That was Mr. Logan Chen. Um, we're going to be hearing a lot more from Mr. Chen very soon. And right now we're going to hear from the wonderful Ranjani Reyes. Hey, David. 
Hey. Oh, look, look. We went from one heart to the other, the heart on your shirt. <laughs> I love it. So how do you, you know, I say run Johnny Reyes. Is, is that correct? Yep, that's me. <laughs> that's you. And what is one thing, I asked this question earlier, but I'm going to ask it to you. What is one thing that you love about yourself? Myself is living life. Yeah, and what is living life to you? Living life, I actually the about to be be myself, who I am. Focus on the love on yourself first, and you love yourself, and you love your family, and love your friends. You have to focus on your mind, and like living life, be like have fun, be crazy. Ah! And, going to be living life <laughs> yeah and how do you put all that love into your work it my my business i'm definitely gonna make it i'm definitely gonna make my vegetarian dance company it's called living life so, did you say um, vegetarian dance company yeah i love that <laughs> yeah you are a dancer you're uh you're you're pretty powerful yeah I'm keep people know come to my the vegan dance academy so we can do some some vibrations sounds the beats of the music and it will be great. I tell you, you and um, you and uh, you 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 and uh, BJ could like be on a show together about taking care of yourselves mentally, physically. Yeah, I love that. Spiritually. Yeah, health, fitness, and definitely. My taste in yoga. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Thank you. This is all reminder. This is like we're we're getting the whole. The Give whole some thing. love to yourself and love each other. That's what we're it's all about. February. It's all about love week. Love week. And I love you, my dear. You too, David. That's why you love you so much. Oh, I love it. <laughs>